Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to play some Hecarim Jungle here in Preseason 11. I think he's still a really good choice because he's not even very jungle reliant on a full jungle item. He can only just rush into things like Trinity Force and uh, he can tempo the games down really fast. One of the biggest things on Hecarim is uh, his ability to carry the early mid game. Late game, he's not amazing. Uh, unless you have like someone to back up your dive like if you have a Malphite the late game is okay But for example late game against this I'll probably just get blocked off CC and Vayne will kill me in like three auto attacks So you normally want to look to end your games pretty early on Hecarim You normally want to start on blue side so you don't run out of mana, but in this game I'd rather start bot lane for the better leash because I don't Shen looked like he was AFK under turret So and normally you do start on blue buff, but you can start on either side On Hecarim, you normally want to look to do five camps instead of a full clear. If you're doing a full clear, you're not going to be able to go for Scuttle Crab because you'll be late. So if you do want to fight on Scuttle Crab because you think you can beat the enemy jungler, I would recommend uh, just uh, doing five camps instead of six. So we'll be skipping Gromp. Gromp is one of Hecarim's worst camps. He takes the most damage from it. So we'll skip that one. Got our Qs down. Full HP, have a red buff. Hecarim's still a really, really good choice. I think he's uh, one of the best champions you can honestly play, D4 and lower, since he's just all around really, really strong. Like the ganks, the clearing, uh, his ability to carry with the items, just really good. We'll use our E right about here. Yeah, we should be able to get to it. Nice. Just bash into it, get the extra AD from our movement speed, get to our camps a little bit faster. Click on our W. Hecarim will start to run out of mana like you see. If you do start on red side, so if you are going to start on red side especially, make sure you get your blue buff before you start looking for ganks so you'll run yourself super oom. Cancel it out of its auto attack there. And I'll be smiting it. I won't need smite for scuttle crab I don't think. I'd rather have full HP for this gank. Oh, my E's actually on cooldown, so that was a mistake. I wouldn't do that. I'm going to go ahead and not use my ghost since I'm all the way behind him. E and back towards the Shen. Normally in ganks, you do want to use your E ahead of time, kind of like a Ramus Q or a Nunu Snowball. You don't actually want to use it like how I used it there. It was only because it was on cooldown and I could come up behind him. Scuttle Crab, if you hit it with your E, you'll take off its shield instantly. But I actually don't want to do that here because I want to gank a Kali with my E. So we'll wait here. If you do plan on backing, or if you're not about to gank, then it'd be fine to start this with your E. But I want to go mid. I'm going to go for these Raptors. I'm going to ping it so Zillion knows I'm not actually coming mid. He may die here. Yeah, he's dead. That's fine though, because I'm gonna do this. Got her. Ghost plus E, so much damage. It's a lot of bursts. They don't have a good way of getting away from it either. Very nice. Hecarim's pretty strong in season one. You guys should definitely consider picking him up if you need an 80 champion or an 80 carry jungler. He's really, really good for solo queue. People don't respect his ganks. You just come up behind them with your E charge and give him a good smack. A good whoop. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Gangplank's just shoving up. We could honestly gank him again without backing. As you see, your HP is actually really, really high with the uh, Ember Knife. Having the 12% Omni Vamp against monsters is a bit much. I think they buffed it from 8% to 12% because I'm just full HP, dude. I still have a refill potion too. It's kind of nasty. For our first item, pretty sure we're just going to go for the Trinity Force. It's really strong overall, still for Akram. They took away its crit, which is good. It gives Hecarim all stats you can use, attack damage, attack speed, movement speed, the, uh, the sheen, all of it's super useful. I'm going to take this to get my level 6. You don't have to back on Hecarim until you're low on HP, or until you can get a full item, or until you have your R. So now I want to look to gank to use my R. Your R does extend the duration of your E, so if your E is about to end, and then you R, like this. Super, super strong. 
Oh, he flashed out though. That sucks. I gotta get out of here. I'm gonna speed even Warwick up greatly. So I gotta push this wave and then we need to get out. I'm gonna run back to turret. I don't wanna die. If he didn't have flash, we definitely would have killed him there. But yeah, now we get to back. Because if your ult's on cooldown, if you're sitting on a bunch of gold, or if you have no HP, basically all three are true. We have a bunch of gold, no R, and we're low. So kind of maximize. Our value there, we'll go for the Sheen first, then we'll go into Heartbound Axe for the movement speed attacking unit. Actually, movement speed's gonna be really, really nice. And then we'll also pick up a Ruby Crystal. We don't really need boots right now. I'd rather just get the full item power spike and then uh, continue with our build. Yeah, Hecarim's still really strong. Just remember, five camp clear into Scuttle Fight. If you don't think you win the Scuttle Fight, just full camp clear into Gank. Do all six camps in Gank. Otherwise, five camp clear into Scuttle Fight into Gank. Unless, like, you don't have to scuttle fight if you... Because do you remember how I came out and it was like 305? You can go for a gank and then do scuttle if you do five camps. Since it was free, there's no reason to wait around for scuttle. If you have 100% like guaranteed kill on a gank, you take it. Oh, now we know where she is. She, yeah, she's trying to get away. Nice. I'm just helping him shove. He's low on HP. You could actually back here. Plus, Zealing doesn't necessarily... Like, you shouldn't go out of your way to steal the minions from your laners, but Zealing doesn't necessarily need the gold. He's not that type of champion. We're going to take this. I saw Warwick bot lane. We should be able to clear this out completely. Smited it a bit early, but I had two smite chargers, so I kind of want to get it on cooldown. We could wait for Warwick here, honestly. We don't have to go top. Since top's so free, I'll just go for it, though. I don't need Shen here. Hopefully Shen doesn't kill himself for this. GP no flash, 100% kill. Just gonna E QW. Yeah, he's dead. I'll let him get that. He could just freeze the wave here. He doesn't have to shove. Warwick's gonna be on golems, or he's gonna cross over. We're going to max our E second. W last. Oh, he's not even on it. All right. We might be able to kill Akali. It's possible. If she tries to fight us. She just runs. Probably won't get anything. Problem is she can go to her smoke screen. She's actually kind of challenging to gank. Might have been able to R her and chase her down with Zillion. It's just kind of risky. If we already get her R and we don't really burn anything for it, then there's, we don't have to chase. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't want to dive it. We can do it now once her smoke screen ends. Like this, now this is when we take it. I have R too. She's not going to get away. Once she burnt her smoke screen, it was over for her. All my camps are up. I can go take them right now, or I can just take Scuttle. So hitting it with your E will uh, take off its shield, but your E's on such a long cooldown early game. Oh, this is free. Warwick's going to kill himself for this. Yeah, he's dead. I'm surprised Shen didn't ult the Zillion. Guess he didn't think he needed it. I'm still sitting on R, so I'm super strong. I have the minion hunter. Monster Hunter uh, debuff because I've been farming too many minions and not enough monsters, so I need to get some Monster gold Assume this is warded GP is not really reacting though He's actually faster than me. What the hell? I'm not gonna kill him. There's no way He's actually kind of strong there because he has the phage and he's Healing off the corruption potion. I really overrested my my damage. I can get my full Trinity Force though, and now I can start going into my boots against their team. I'm gonna go Merc Treads 100%. Uh, Merc Treads are gonna be huge here. After I have my Merc Treads, I don't want to go too much armor because of the vein. I want to look to build more damage. I could see myself actually going for a Ravenous Hydra because the Omni Vamp that would be really strong. Since I have the Zillion to ult me, 
But when they have true damage like the Vayne, just stacking HP and armor is kind of bad. Because Vayne also does max health damage and true damage. So Shen really still shouldn't be bought. He should be up here. He's going to lose turret. That was kind of weird. I think his flash is still on cooldown. Got him. Now we got some real damage with the Trinity Force. Our auto attacks are coming out real crisp and clean. I need to farm some more monsters though, unfortunately. Keep putting points in my E. If you guys want to see the level order, uh, the runes, like everything all in one place, go to the very start of the video. I'm gonna leave a pink. We're leaving a deep pink. It's really good. They don't typically check that bush. She's scared. She doesn't want to trade with him because she doesn't know where I am. Yeah, I can't do it. She's gonna play that far back. I should get the Rift Herald. That's really the move here. There's nothing else on the map. Rift Herald's a lot better than the first dragon, anyways. Uh. Because until you get soul, the dragons don't really do much, so. As long as we get some high value out of this, we'll be fine. Still full HP. Yeah, the Omni Vamp's just busted, bro. You, you can't see it anymore because you, you absorb your jungle item after five smites, but I have 12% Omni Vamp against monsters, and it's just gross. Yeah, I don't know where to go right now. Seeing I go on top of GP was pulling off. We'll just go mid. Bash into her. Oof. Oh, she ulted past me, like, right as I are. That was really clean of her. You're dead, though, for it. <laughs> oh, man. She played it pretty clean, too. Like, her R was actually super, super clean. We need to get the turret down to at least two and a quarter before we herald. To take it as fast as possible. Cause every time you break and play it gets extra armor and herald does true damage. Alright, Harold should have it from there. Now I'm gonna dump it into the next turret. I can get red buff. Warks playing around bot side. He's been bound. I've been watching him this whole time. That's why I'm over here trying to feed on his camps. He may push into my jungle, hopefully he doesn't. So then he'll end up coming over here and I'll have nothing. I have full item. I guess he does too. We're both tied in our items. Holy shits. He did some crazy damage, bro. Warwick's actually not that bad with the new Trinity Force. He's decent. We have equal items. It's kind of nuts. How does he have that much gold? I guess because I'm sitting on nearly 3k. <laughs> I was going to say it's like, bro, I'm so fed. trying to get away. I don't want to bleed my shutdown. Mm, my R is on cooldown. Got it. Very nice. I want to heal up with my Omni vamp off these bad boys. Blow the work speed up. Now we can go back and get some real damage. Lifeline item, Steric Gauge is still a really, really good option. I, I would like to just get my full Ravenous Hydra at this point. Because it's off of abilities and attacks, so my Q is going to be ridiculous on it. Black Cleaver might be decent. Still doing physical damage. They don't really have tanks right now, though, so I don't need Black Cleaver. I'll go Ravenous just into Sterics. Ravenous Sterics will be hella strong, and then I'll get my Merc Treads. I could get Merc Treads or Swifties. They have the Charm from a Seraphine. They have the Warwick Fear. Uh, GP Slow. I think Swifties or Merc Treads would be good here. We have an insane amount of damage and a lot of Omni Vamp. Keep maxing our E. I don't think your E gets lower per level. It's mainly just for the burst that it gives us really high in the movement speed. Ooh, I, look, I like that. That snare is kind of annoying, though. Let's 
scuttle crabs up. I know I'm on it. It's warded. I'm gonna ult her. Yeah, she's annoying. She's gonna die for that. And Vane's gonna die next too. I'm gonna have to kite back. Ooh, nice. Yeah, she's, yeah see how much damage she does? She, well, she is fed to be fair, and she has lethal tempo, but yeah. If I had my R, we could easily solo Vayne, but without my R, it's kind of hard. This is a really good comp for Hecarim, though. We have two champions to speed me up. If you have any champion that can speed you up, Hecarim's a really good pick. And Hecarim's really good against invisible champions because you just swing that big helicopter Q and they get wrecked. I'm gonna wait. The enemies are gonna post up. Zillion has R, Yumi has R. I'm gonna get this squishy Seraphine. Absolutely crush her. Yeah, there's no way. For them to fight us, they need like two beefy tanks to just wall me off. But without tanks especially, it's not gonna happen, buddy. I got my red smite burn on her. Oh yeah, this is dirty. That's <laughs> so dirty. And do you see that healing off the Omni Vamp? Because the Ravenous Hunter is super gross. Oh, I didn't even see this chick. Oh, dude! I wasn't... I went to itch my nose. I didn't even see her. Shit. Well played, Vayne. Yeah, I think we go straight into Sterics here. I think that's the move. So Dead Man's is good on Hecarim, obviously. Because it gives movement speed. Uh, a lot of movement speed. But like I said, the armor on it's pretty useless. They have Warwick, does majority AP damage. Akali's AP, Seraphine AP. So they have, basically have triple AP plus the vein true damage. So not really looking to buy that right now. I'll go the Sterix for the physical damage and the HP. And then I'll get uh, probably an Executioner's or something. They have a lot of healing all on the Warwick GP. Executioner's will be decent. They have triple dragon. They're on the way to dragon soul. Just red Warwick. Red smite them. I need to speed up. Got him. Bastard with my E. It set up the Yasuo OR. Heck, I'm, dude, I have synergized with my whole team. My E knock lets Yasuo ult. Shen can ult onto me as I engage. I have two speed ups. This is actually like the one of the perfect games for Hecra. Oh, they killed me! Oh, it's too strong. Get him. Yeah, buddy. Oh, the turret damage. The turret damage and Seraphine. Seraph, dude, look at what is that? Look at that. I was fighting all three of them. Look at that Seraphine damage. What the fuck is she building? She doesn't even have a full item yet, I don't think. I, I don't know if you can count Shard of True or Ice as a full item. It's like a free support item. That's crazy, man. I need some magic resist. That was really, really dirty. Well played. I think it's fair to say Seraphine might be a little overtuned if she did more damage to me than the GP and Akali. They're not support champs, and yet she's she's hurting me like a brand support would. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> oh well, might have to kill her, kill kill Vayne, and then kill her. She's super super strong. Oof, that's scary. You can't stop Hecarim. Hecarim's R, you can't CC him. So whenever she tried to condemn me mid R there, it didn't do anything. Got him. That's what I'm talking about, dude. That's what I'm talking about. Some damage. Warwick's top lane. We'll go pinch that off. Run up behind him. Hopefully we can get there in time. Use my speed up. On my face. Uh, 
That sucks. I don't know if I can get him now. My E's on a long cooldown. I could have held on to that until after he feared me to run him down. That sucks. Yeah, that's so annoying. His fear is just... Is just there. Yeah, we're gonna get you this time. Oh, feels good. Basically going jousting there. Veins here. I need a zillion speed up. <laughs> I don't know what zillion's doing. I guess he was waiting. Oh, I couldn't get to him. Uh, I definitely need Merc Treads. I'm just getting my ball CC'd off. Got him. Yeah, the <laughs> Seraphine Snare and Charm. I really need those Merc Treads. Got him. Yeah, and your E cancels. Your E is a displacement, kind of like an alley knockup. So whenever people are moving, like in a Kali Dash or a Kha'Zix Dash, you can knock them out of their movement with it. Really, really good. I think Warwick has R. Yeah, he's waiting to use it. He knows Shen's just gonna R me. Got him. Nice, nice. Stay on top of him. Hit the plant. Get my mana back. Look at that healing, dude. The healing on Hecarim and in, in Season 11 in general is way too much. I got full HP off of a freaking wolf cam. I really do, do need those Merc Treads, though. Yep. I have a feeling Hecarim and Yasuo is going to be a boosting strat. That landing the Hecarim eats point and click, you can't really miss it. It has such a large girth of when it attaches to them. Yeah, so the big takeaway if you guys are still watching is uh, Merc Treads or Swifties on Hecarim. I, I'm getting my tier 2 boots a little bit late this game. I thought I could get away with it because of... Uh... Nice. I thought I could get away with it since I have these two speed up champs, but... Not much counterplay there. Got him. <laughs> it's, it's so nasty. All right, guys. Takeaway. If you have one or more speed up champs on your team, Hecarim's really good. Hecarim plays well with champions that synergize off your CC like Yasuo. Uh, Ravenous Hunter OP on him. Trinity Force OP on him. Sterex really strong. If you guys enjoyed this Hecarim jungle guide, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to chat and chill live on stream, come check it out. My name is King Six. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.